So the plan was to film this review over here on my table, on my deck, and I just found these guys. You guys can see that little beehive there. Hey there folks, I got a new flashlight for you. What I have here is the Thrunite Catapult Mini. This is a new offering through Thrunite. This is a smaller version of their Catapult V6. See there, here's the V6. I did a review on this a while back. And I can see why they created a smaller version of it because uh, this is not very pocketable. It's not pocket friendly. So they came up with this one. So, yeah, I wanted to do this on the deck, but uh, I got a honeycomb there with bees and I didn't want to mess with them. I don't want to get them angry while they're doing the work. So doing it indoors. So same as the V6, the Catapult Mini has got an aluminum body. Um, it's water resistant. They kind of, uh, the instructions say it's waterproof, but I think it's just water resistant. It does have, they do provide you with extra O-rings. There's O-rings inside now when you take apart the body to expose the battery. This bezel is removable. Uh, you just, you just twist it off. Uh, I guess if you want to clean the lens. It is a USB charger, so you can charge. It's got a nice rubber cap. They give you an extra one of these also. So if you want to charge this on your computer or, you know, one of your phone chargers, there it is. It's the newer one. I forget which one that is, 2.0, whatever. Um, it's nice tactical design. It's got nice grips so it doesn't slip. It is a little smaller, so I would recommend that you do use a lanyard. I have a lanyard on the bigger one too, only because it's big and I don't want to drop it. But this one is so small. I got medium sized hands. I, I feel like I would drop this. Um, I mean, I guess you could put like a thinner lanyard there if you want to put a lanyard and a, a scoopy loop bead or what have you. But this comes in gray and black. I got the gray one, of course. Uh, I mean, it's very tactical in design. Functionality is very similar to every tactical flashlight. This is a thrower. This is a thrower flashlight, same as the V6. So not a flood flashlight, meaning this is like a, a laser beam. When you shoot this, it's more like a spotlight and it's gonna throw it far. Uh, maximum lumens on this bad boy is 680. Uh, it's got a single operation button right here. So you can click it to turn it on and click it again to turn it off. And then you can cycle through the different modes by just holding on to it. Uh, let's see. So to turn it on. And it's going to go to the last mode, whatever you had it last. I don't remember what I had it at. So you click it, turns it on. Of course, you guys can see that. Click it again to turn it off. Turn on, and then if you hold the button, oh, it's also when it's fully charged, there'll be a blue light. While it's charging, that'll be red. And once it's full charge, it goes blue. So it's on, and if you wanna cycle, maybe I'll film this outside later, just to show you the throw capability. So you just hold, on to, hold down the button to cycle through the different modes of lighting. As you can see, it's doing that right now. So that's a high setting, you turn it off, Turn it back on, it goes back to that last mode, whatever it was. So let's lower it a little bit. Right there, turn it off. Goes back to that mode, turn it off again. Um, <clears throat> if you double click it while it's off, it goes to turbo mode. So just double click it, boom, you're in turbo mode. In case you need light right away, turn it off. And then if you triple click it, let's see, I, I over click. If you triple click it, it goes into strobe. Bing, oh, there you go, disco time. And if you hold it down, it'll go into firefly mode, reading mode. So I'm going camping with the bandit in about a week. 
I will be using this in my tent so I can watch my Instagram vids post on the Wieners and Steel account in the dark listening to the crickets and the bandit probably happily singing drinking bourbon. <laughs> uh, yeah, so pretty cool, pretty cool little flashlight. Uh, I forget how much these go for. I think like 45 bucks. I think it might be on sale actually. It might be a little cheaper. So it's got a good battery life. Uh, from what from my experience, especially with this one, I don't even remember the last lime, the last lime. You know what I mean. The last time I charged this, it holds an extra long charge for a long time. And the battery is huge on this bad boy. So I'll try to get some footage of me throwing it out in my neighborhood and um hopefully that works show you guys if it doesn't rain okay peace okay i stepped outside it's about 9 30 p.m i'm gonna wait for this car to pass and i'm gonna shoot this thrower down the road so i'm gonna use the turbo mode boom like i said it's a thrower it's like a spotlight it's like a laser beam shooting up in the sky it's pretty bright. I hope I didn't wake up my neighbors. And turn it off again. Here's another angle. So down that way is a farm. And you can just see how straight that stream is, how powerful. Mind you folks, this is a mini flashlight. It's pretty, pretty powerful. It's great for like distracting somebody. Um, you know, if you're a police officer. Uh, put that right in their face. These are just, I'm going to cycle through the different modes. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty good. Let's go back to the turbo. Boom. Right, if you're in your house and some jerk off walks in, you hit him with the turbo, blinds him right away, and or strobe light his ass.